Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a very cute game called Teacup. Teacup was developed by Smarto Club, it was published by Whitehorn Digital, and it was released onto the Xbox One and PC on September 23rd, 2021 with MSRP of $9.99. It should be coming later to the PS4 and Switch as well. As always, the exact release date, pricing, and platforms may vary from region to region and platform to platform. Alright, I want to get started. This is a very cute kind of point and click adventure game with some light puzzling elements. I'm gonna start a new game as always and I really hope that multiple save files are a thing with games because uh, it's kind of annoying when you spend like hours on a save file and then there's only one <clears throat> and you can just back it up because of Steam but sometimes it's kind of hard to back up save files on other platforms. This game is really cute though. So teacup has a tea party, but there's no tea, so... <laughs> okay, so this game, you play with the arrow keys, spacebar's interact, shift is sprint. So you can kind of look over all these items. Look at this. Hi Teacup, I'm glad to confirm that all of us will be able to make it to the tea party. I almost forgot to write back since we've been busy with Evangeline practicing like crazy for a performance at the Kite Festival. We're pretty nervous but I think it's going to be great. The boys were very excited too but I hope none of them has forgotten it's this Saturday. Blah blah blah. Adele. Okay. Look at your book. This shows you all of the teas that you collect and when you collect them, the Ages become colored in. Also, this game is very wholesome. Uh, it was, it spoke to me. You know, when I was playing it, I was like, whatever, this is kind of a cutesy game. It seems like a very, I know people don't like it when people use this word, a casual experience. But yeah, like, in a period of life where I was like struggling to, I still am struggling to figure out what I'm supposed to do, you know, trying to figure out if I'm doing the right thing or not. This game's had some very, very relatable things. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I was like, dang, okay, you know what? This game is okay by me. So this map is like how you navigate between different areas, just go talk to people, play some mini games, and collect tea along the way. So here, the market and the pond. Baskets are good for containing stuff, yes sir. This guy's like, I'm not sure if these mushrooms are poisonous. You gotta be very careful when eating shrooms. <laughs> The voice acting, it's hilarious. Okay, so this badger's like, I'll tell you where to get mint if you help me with some task. So, 
One thing that it's just a small minor complaint. You can't move around with the mouse. Maybe you can, at least uh, from from my experience. I think I don't think you can. But some of the puzzles require you to use the mouse. So it becomes a little bit annoying shifting from arrow keys to the um, mouse. Just a minor complaint. There, we did it. So, pay attention to the dialogue. She said, Salamandro should be by the pond. Okay, so when you don't do enough things, certain areas are blocked off. I think the lighthouse is blocked off for now. Yeah. It's such a cute game. Is that the water steep on aren't I a frog? <laughs> oh. hmm. <laughs> okay, so here's another mini game. Just push the arrow keys. Most of the mini games are very generous, by the way, so you don't have to worry about it being difficult. There are some puzzle ones where if you can't figure it out, it just gives you hints. Did it, fellas? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so if you have to meet him at his house to get the tea. The meadow. Oh. Hmm. And we got the minty. She gets colored in. Okay, now we got some of the paths filled in. Oh, the magicians. I don't think I can do this yet, can I? Yeah. I think we can go to the lighthouse now. Yep. You know, I've always said this, uh, but 
no voice acting is better than bad voice acting. And a nice middle ground is to have some random noises like that where you get something but you don't run the risk of having bad voice acting because voice acting is very expensive to have in games. So I understand why most studios opt out of it. In these studios, it's, it's really hard to afford. Oh, I can't talk to this person. Hmm. Weird. Whatever. It's an otter. Hmm. Oh, they're kind of busy. Uh, this puzzle I had the most difficulty with. And uh, I just ended up waiting for a while for the hints to show up. And then, <laughs> and then uh, I just did what the hints told me. Yeah, he built a lighthouse for a pond, by the way. A gold coin, you say? Okay. Let's see if this is see this this part I was like dang okay anyways I see a pastor rebelling against an authority of struggling to find a path for yourself but even while facing adversity you have to stay confident and sure of yourself this is something you must not lose I think this is the same yeah See, you're on a journey to learn how to connect with those around you. There may be confusion, fear, and misunderstanding. Blah, 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 blah. Is this random? I don't know. Be successful as long as you keep an open mind, ready to explore all different possibilities. Many good things await you. You've heard the cars. You just have to continue ahead on your journey. And I was like... Dang, that's, that's something I kind of wanted to hear, but it's like, it's coming from a game, so it's wishful thinking, but you know, I wish... wish I could be sure of what I'm doing, you know? Oh, maybe I need the gold coin to buy a newspaper. This is so messy. <laughs> Alright, see, so I was making a joke that this was XQC. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Okay. Picnic in the pond before leaving for his break. So you have to go back to the pond. Uh, so you do have to talk to people to unlock certain things. Post office. <laughs> I 
Alright, this is funny. This dude bought magic carpets and they won't stop moving around. So now, so if you remember the tents that I went to before, the large colorful tent with the magicians, now I can go there. Okay, so let's go back to the post office and then we can go to the pond and then we can go to the bakery once we go to the pond and then we can go to the magician's uh, tent. I'll do a few more of these and then we'll call it quits because that should give you an idea what the game is like. Okay, now we get to organize the stamps. Actually, it's not pretty hard. Okay. Oh, I can only do adjacent ones now. Is this the... That's the rightmost side. Wait. There you go. That is way messed up. <laughs> okay. Wait, is this... Is this right? Yeah. Okay, easy peasy. So Otto has the honey. All right. Otto was in the forest. And we got the honey. <laughs> the secret of keeping bees is to talk to them. Somehow I believe that. Okay, so we got the honey. Now we gotta go to the pond for the picnic. And then go to the magician's hut. I went the wrong way. Oh. 
<laughs> Just like day to day mundane conversations, it has no purpose in terms of gameplay mechanics. It's not delivering narrative that you need or giving you hints. It's just a conversation, which may not be interesting to some people if it's not relatable to their own life experiences, oh. but I find it a nice touch. Because I find it incredibly frustrating when they waste an opportunity for character development and just building up the world for the sake of just sliding in what you should be doing next. It's just like, oh, here's this narrative bit just explaining what's happening, why, and what you should be doing. I'm just like, god dang it. You dropped the basket. <laughs> Gonna use me long frog arms, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Why can't I grab it? There we go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this just looks very silly. At the same time, though, you know, you can't have like one hour cutscenes, you know. I'm looking at you, Melgar Salad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now if we go back to the bakery, we can get the cookies. I wonder if I ever need to get the gold coin. I didn't beat the game. I got very close, but I got stuck. I was like, I don't know where to go next because I totally forgot all of the key hints. Let me see if I can do this one now. Hmm. Okay, not yet. That one I had the most difficult be with. That puzzle. Alright. So we can go to the bakery, and then we can go through the magician's hut. Is, it, is the word idyllic? I think it is, right? Anyways. Oh. This guy looks so derpy. So this is a very straightforward, dude. I I was blind, so I need a whoopty to help me here, cause I was like, I can't see anything. Let's see, eight ball. I'm just finding all the items here. Uh, clock is here. Glasses, dude. I don't remember where most of this stuff is.
the envelope. Yeah, I don't remember <laughs> that thing. Now we're missing the teapot. Where, where is it? I can just start clicking on stuff. Looking for the teapot. Short and stout. Here is my handle. <laughs> oh, the key, yes. Oh. My memory is so bad. Also, my eyesight. Whoopty has them eagle, uh, eagle eyes. Them artist eyes. I'm like, y'all are probably like yelling at me across the screen. It's right there. Are you blind? And I'm like, yes, sir, I am. Where, where is it? <laughs> uh, I require some assistance. I don't remember where the teapot was. This is where I can't progress anymore. I'm just stuck on this level forever. It's perpetual suffering. Uh, all right. Let me let me take a look for it. Oh, it's right here. There we go. It's like a acid trip. Okay, we got the dream tea. Another word for hallucinogenic drugs. <laughs> Alright, we'll go to the bakery. And then we'll call it there. Future resonates brightly. I wish that were true for me. And this guy talks about making a spell to put on socks. <laughs> oh. Okay. But yeah, it was it was an awfully wholesome and kind of reassuring game. I mean, in terms of the gameplay mechanics, very shallow. And I'm okay with that. It's more of, more of an experience rather than playing and getting good at a certain mechanic. Okay. So now we can enter the bakery. We got the cookies. By the way, I saw a funny Steam review where they actually made the cookie recipe in this game, and they're like, worst cookies ever. 
I don't know if that's true or not. They could be bad at baking, you never know. Okay. So now we have that done, and if you look, uh... People start slowly gathering here, and I didn't get finished this part. Well, why don't we call it there? Once again, the game is Teacup, published by Smarto Club, I mean developed by Smarto Club, sorry. Published by Whitehorn Digital, out now for the Xbox One and PC. Should be coming out for the PS4 and Switch, and the MSRP is $9.99. Alright, hopefully that gave you guys an idea what the game is like, and hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there, and I will catch you guys next time. Yeah, this is a really cute game. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.